In this video I will show you how we can create a simple ESP now application where we send messages from a normal ESP32 board to the cheap yellow display. So it will look something like this. What we will need is a photoresistor module KY018 this will collect the data and this a normal ESP32 board so this will receive the data from that and send it across to a cheap yellow display via ESP now uh, protocol the actual user interface uh, is quite simple really just got a label it says good night by default but you can put anything as it's going to get updated and then it's set to blue once uh, when we receive the data like off it will say like good morning and this will change to like greenish or whitish uh, what you do you save it build once it's built you go to the uh, project folder the easy studio project and then uh, you will need to copy all the C files over to the Arduino folder. Okay, so you go there, you create a uh, project, whatever you can call it, whatever you want. Copy all the C files, it's generated, Control C, and then you just go to your. <laughs> The one, the Arduino, uh, the one that for the cheap yellow display called Light Data Receiver Server, and just paste everything here. And when you go to your Arduino sketch, you will see all these files have been loaded. Okay, first, we'll have to get the MAC address. Then we'll have to set one of the ESP32 boards as the master, so it captures the data and sends it across to the cheap yellow display. And then the cheap yellow display uh, uh, sketch, which will simply change the state status of the uh, LED on our UI. First of all, we will need the master ESP32 to, to know the MAC address of the CYD board. So we will need to get that. So we open this uh, sketch and see simply connect your CYD to your laptop and then just run it when you run it what it will do is it will print out the uh, MAC address now that we have the MAC address of GPL display we will go to the uh, the master so we'll set the normal ESP32 as the master the one that will gather the data and send it across to CYD so I have the board on my system, my cheap yellow display uh, MAC address is this, so I've added it 08, 08, B6, B6. This is you have to add it as hexadecimal. Uh, so I'll just go over this uh, part. This is again from this site. First, we will need to import the include the ESP now libraries. Then we set the MAC address. This uh, this part is optional. You can edit. What it does is when whenever we hide the photoresistor, we cover the photores photoresistor module. It will turn this LED on. So this is completely optional. You don't have to do it. So and this is the light sensor pin. So we're going to be using D34 for the uh, photoresistor module. To send uh, us the data, and then the LED will be on pin 25. We create a struct method, uh, struct, which will just just include the ID and whether it, if the light is turned on or off. When the data is sent, we just print our message saying whether it was successful or failed. In the setup method, we'll have to initialize the ESP now. And what it does is 
this part initializes it and this part sets the callback method on data sent you can call this anything you like as long as this is being set here and then yeah so this is all setting up the ESP now and then we, because I'm also using the uh, an LED which is completely optional and I'm setting the LED pin mode here in the loop what I'm doing is getting the light sensor data mapping it to mapping the value from zero the actual data is returned by the photoresistor is between zero and uh, 1023 so we have to map it to something smaller and then logging it and then just setting this is on value based on if the resistance is greater than 20 or less if it's greater than 20 i'm going to send on as in set the led high and set this one to true and vice versa here i'm setting it to low and set it to false and this is the part where we send the actual data over to this cheap yellow display i I and uh, I populate one of the struct I created called my data. Set the ID to one. It can be whatever you want. And light is on to is on, and then simply sending it and checking the status. That's it. Now I will uh, describe uh, how the cheap yellow display, which is the receiver or the slave, uses the data that the ESP32 master sends over. So just open the sketch. Notice this will contain all the Easy Studio uh, files that's generated. Here is again it's very similar to uh, the other one. We simply uh, include the ESP now libraries. This is all default templates. Nothing changes here. Again, the, we create a struct. The struct data has to match exactly with what it was in the master, the other file, the other sketch. So, as you can see, it's completely like a copy and paste of it. ID light is on. Here, what's the what is doing is on data receive. It's capturing the data and then simply populating uh, one of these one of the structs we created. So in this case it will be port one. And then in the setup method, similar to the other one, we are simply uh, initializing ESP now and then setting a callback on receiving the data. In this case it's called on data receive. This can you can call it whatever you want, so just as long as the callback when you register it here matches that. It will work. The rest is a normal uh, initializing LVGL and so on, and then calling the Easy Studio GUI to be in initialized. And on in the loop, what we are doing is every couple of seconds, what it does is it checks if it's received the new data. So if the previous state hasn't changed we won't execute this part if the state has changed from like going on to off then what, what, what this is doing is checking is if it's on then ex enable the LED on the UI and then set the color to like bluish and then if it's off then set, set the turn the LED off and set the color to green and update the state uh, state text so others gonna say good night or good morning uh, you wire in the ky uh, 018 module it's very simple uh, the middle one is the power source the right one the negative one is the ground and 
the left one is the pin so in this case we're using pin 34 here yeah so that's done as I cover the sensor the cheap yellow display is updated via ESP now cover it it goes to good morning good night as there's no light when I release it there is light so it says good morning cover it good night release it good morning so that's a very basic